friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It's about quarter after five. Um, I got up at five, but it just took me a little while to come downstairs. I hit snooze a couple times, but I'm down now. I haven't done a darn thing except make my coffee. I'm just getting it here. I've got my big mug. And it's nice to come down to a clean kitchen for the most part. I've got to empty the dishwasher. And um, my house all vacuumed because... I turned my Roomba on last night, which is nice. So, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Oh, excuse me. I wanted to start my day with you. Because it's going to be a busy day. Um, I want to do some more cleaning. And I need to make something for Success Club tonight. Because, yeah, family, some family's coming over. And we're going to have, like, a potluck thing. So, I need to decide on what the heck I'm going to make. So if I can get my cleaning done, then I can focus on that. And Abby's coming here around 6 o'clock. So his mama works all day. So he'll be here all day, which will be nice. I'll have another little assistant. Um, so anyways, I'll be back. I'm going to have my coffee and we'll figure out uh, the next leg of the journey. So, All right, guys, I've been just dilly-dallying, which is just what I needed to do this morning but um Medea is still not here yet I tried to call her I'm hoping that she's not starting her day off wrong and slept in I don't know so Abby's not here but um yeah I tried like I said I tried to get a hold of her so I don't know we'll see I'll keep you posted on that I just know what it's like if you sleep in you know and your day starts off wrong it throws your whole day off you guys you guys get that I'm sure you do the rest of the day just you can't seem to catch up with yourself so oh yeah not a good way to start off the weekend but what I'm gonna do now um, I hear Misha she came downstairs and she was like I'm hungry I said well it's not time to get up yet but you can get dressed and she wanted an orange so she had an orange and she's back upstairs now but I'm going to get the kids up shortly. But before I do that, I'm going to um, wipe down the TV in the TV stand. Um, I don't really have anything to do in the kitchen right now since I packed the lunches last night. Hmm. I hear her upstairs again. I don't know. Uh, and just do the a quick run over the baseboards downstairs with a microfiber cloth. And I want to surface like vacuuming the couches just I'm not going to take the cushions off just the the outside of it and I can do that super quick um and the kids toys are going off or something like that I hear a little toy talking hmm. maybe there's a ghost come to visit me I don't mind ghosts so it's all good anyways I'm going to get get my microfiber cloth and my little uh vacuum and do that quick and I want to wipe, yeah, the TV stand off and stuff. Just one thing off my list I don't have to do. I do plan on mopping the floor, but I'm not going to do that till the kids all go to school. So I'll be back. All right, friends. Well, it's 7.30. The girls caught the bus. I'm glad I got those uh, lunches packed. And Evie is here. He's out there watching Mickey Mouse's clubhouse, having his morning bottle. So I'm going to open these blinds now because they're not open. And then I'm going to wipe off this piano. I'll vacuum it with my little vacuum for any dust and stuff. And then polish it up. So it'll be all uh, fresh and clean, clean. All right. Doesn't need cute little jammies. I'll get him dressed here after. Or maybe it'll be a pajama day. We'll see how he does. But I got that all done. Doesn't look that much different. But I know it's dust free. And right now it looks... <laughs> tickling me are you tickling me tickle 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 pickle 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 um what i'm gonna do now is oh, you want to say good morning to everybody say good morning evie good morning oh my darling little baby oh um i'm gonna wash these windows um, just the bottom part I'm not going to do great big deep clean but just so they're they're fresh I'll also open this blind and 
do out here. It's supposed to get quite warm today, I think up to plus 11. So I didn't put any wood in the fire this morning. We had a fire going last night. But, ah, you little turkey. Turkey. Um, so I'm going to do these windows and, oh, you leave that alone. And I'll be back. All right, guys, it's quarter to nine. So what I'm going to do now is wipe down my wall here. I'm not going to do my brick wall today. I think that'll be an all day job. And I'm going to wipe down these cupboards. Some of them, I mean, you can see stuff that's dribbled. Some of them, the paint's worn. So it looks dirty, but it's not as dirty as it looks. I'm not saying it's not dirty, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to do these. And I put some hot water and some Clorox in here. And I have some spray nine over there. I'm going to, between the two, some elbow grease and some rubber gloves, I'm going to get it clean. So I'll bring you, well, I'll show you the progress along the way. All right, it's quarter after 11, or quarter after nine. Well, it's 11 after nine, that's why I said 11. But So I did all of these downstairs, down below cupboards. I mean, a lot of them are chipped and worn. That's why they look still a little haggard and stuff, and that sticker is still on there. I even did the front of the fridge. Um, I'm going to try to do up at the top, but Evie is requiring some assistance. Evie. And I did this wall. This Everything looks so much brighter, though. You know what I mean? It's It might be harder for you guys to tell, but everything looks so much brighter. So much brighter. I did all this, the baseboards and even the top, like whatever that's called. The top baseboard. It's not a base, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so, feeling good. Oh, I haven't done this one, though. i got to do this one. Yeah. But what I was doing, I was spraying it with the Spray 9 and then wiping it with the Clorox water, which i got to change. But, yeah. So, anyways. All right. I'm just going to do something different for a minute. I'm going to wash this window. I just sprayed it. And now I'm going to wipe it. All right, I'm brewing another coffee right now. So as that's doing its thing, I'm gonna wash these little windows. Um, just gonna spray them and wipe them. Okay, now I gotta do the other side. All right, my coffee's all done. Well, done brewing, I haven't drank it yet. I'm gonna take this curtain down and wash it. I haven't washed this in like two years, which is ridiculous and it's filthy. <coughs> Yeah, this is the stuff you don't realize, like if you're watching my videos, because you don't really see it up close, but it looks kind of like an off-white. Well, I think it's supposed to be white or like sheer white. So I'm going to take it off and just wash it on gentle um, and see how it turns out. Hopefully it doesn't disintegrate. We'll see. Another banana? You want a banana? All right, just a minute. So I just took that curtain off. And i got to show you, look at this windowsill. Those are my dehydrated mushrooms, but dusty. Dusty. Oh, this rascal needs a banana. Well, I have a load of stuff that I need to switch to the dryer. I'm washing Maze's bedding. There's this comforter there I need to put in. But before I do the comforter, I'm going to do this curtain so I can hang it back up and get my kitchen back to rights. All right, I'm just about to sit down with my coffee. I just wiped this with paper towel just to get the initial dust off. Look how disgusting that is. So I want you to get a good gander at the before. It's just it's out in our porch. Pretty bad. But I'm going to go have my coffee first, and then I'm going to tackle this. I'm going to do the, the sills, and then I'm going to wipe the windows. These are these old kind of windows. and see the one of those kind of hooks and one of these kind of hooks yeah so coffee first though coffee was delicious but someone needs a bum change you need a new boom boom I got the stuff ready all right guys I wipe this down look at the difference holy cow 
up there. I had to use a little toothbrush to get in around that lock. But I wiped the windows. I'm going to do the other side too. Now I'm just waiting for that little curtain to be done and I'm just going to hang it up while it's wet so it can just dry in here in the kitchen. It's fine. So yeah, that's done. Still haven't done the top of the cupboard yet, but I do plan on doing that. Um, yeah, I just, well, I just get distracted, but at least I'm still getting stuff done. Evie was just trying to stick that pencil down that grate. Just a minute, Evie, just a minute. Anyways, I hung that curtain back up and mostly everything came out of it. But there is a stain down here. But it's 99% better. It's still damp. But it'll dry. Do you need to have a little kink? I think you need to have a kink, I think. I'm going to go see if I can get him to sleep. It is quarter after 10. All right, it's 1040. I got Evie to sleep, so I'm taking everything off of the wood. It's already been swept and stuff. Got to get my slippers there. And I'm going to mop out here and in the dining room while he's sleeping. I'll do the kitchen after I'm done cleaning the kitchen. But for now, I'm going to do this in the little hallway out there where the little kitchen is. This was all swept this morning, so should be good to go. I've got my mop and bucket, and I'm going to take my time so I don't push my body, and we'll get it done. All right, the wood is all done. Um, I didn't do the bathroom yet because I want to clean that really good before I mop the floor. So I'll mop that after I mop the kitchen later. Um, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to try to start working on that up, upper cupboards doors and then the doors will be done. I can clean the counters, sweep the floor, and then mop it. All right, I finished the upper cupboards. They look fabulous. Um, I just swept the floor and sprayed it, like spots that need a little more work. I'm about to go do the same to the bathroom, and then I'm going to mop. I still didn't wipe, like do my secondary wipe of the counters and stuff. I just want to get the floors done while he's sleeping. And then I'll I'll do it. Usually I save my floors to last, but not today. So I need to go straight in the bathroom. All right, the kitchen's all mopped. And the bathroom's all done. I just took everything that was on the floor out. But all good. I wiped the counter down, did the toilet, and washed parts of the wall and the baseboard. So it's all done. All right, guys, it's about 5 after 12. Evie's still snoozing, but I need to take a trip to town because I got a call from Mally and she's not feeling well. <clears throat> she said she threw up, so... Gee, hopefully it's not a big flu or something. Oh. Anyways, I'm going to stop and get her and then stop to the grocery store if she's feeling well enough. I'm going to move you. If she's feeling well enough to pick up something for tonight for the Success Club. I'm thinking I'll do bruschetta on that baguette bread. That's always easy to do. My husband is starting to fry up some bacon. I'm like, fry up a whole bunch of it. Because one of you guys, I read comments this morning, suggested breakfast for supper. And I'm like, that's perfect. But if he he's going to do up a whole bunch of bacon, we'll do up some eggs maybe and have some bruschetta. It sounds like a weird combination, but it's a potluck, so there'll be a little bit of different things so people can eat what they want and whatever's left over in regards to bacon I think he's gonna fry up four packages we have so much bacon he can't help but buy bacon I'm not complaining but we have enough he can fry up four so I'm sure that's a lot of bacon we won't eat at all tonight but it'll be good for tomorrow so anyways I'm driving so I'll catch you uh, when we get to town all right we made it to the school Go see how Miss Mally's doing. I might uh, ask the office to let Misha know because Mazai's going to a friend's house after school today. So it would just be Misha on the bus and she might be panicking thinking, was well, she supposed to even go on the bus because it'll just be her on the bus today? So, but it must be lunchtime. I see kids outside playing. But yeah, anyways, it's beautiful warm day. It's like plus four or something right now. At least that's what my phone says. And yeah, it certainly feels like spring. I'm enjoying it. But all right, I'm almost to the door. So I'll check back in a little bit. Okay, I made it home. I just dropped Mally off. My husband's here and he's awake, but I didn't let him see me. I have to go get Medea from work. And I got, we stopped to, uh, 
Superstore to get a couple of things. And then, now I have to go get her, but yeah. I'll show you what I got from the store when I get back. It's still sitting here in the trunk and in the back seat of the car, so i got to back out of this muddy driveway, so I'll be back in a little bit. All right, friends. Well, I made it to Medea's work a few minutes early, so I just didn't want to go in there and Evie see me and have a conniption fit, so yeah, I'll just sit here and enjoy the peace and quiet and relax for a few minutes till she gets here. Then I'll go home and probably have to clean up the kitchen a little bit again if my husband was cooking. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I'll get those groceries out and show you what I got, and um, I need to get that table. I'm not bringing it up. I can't. I'm not going to lift heavy things, but not that that table's heavy, but the table down in the basement up. It's one of those folding tables. <clears throat> I use it Thanksgiving or any kind of big get-togethers that we have, so. And I'll get that set up in the dining room, so we'll have a table to sit at during our success club meeting, so. Anyways, I'll be back in a little while. All right, it's 10 to 2, and I just got home. Evie's under my feet, having a snack, and I'll show you what I got at the store. I got some celery. My teenager requested that. Pick that up, Evie. I'll get you in a minute. I got two of these like baguette breads for a bruschetta I'm going to make tonight. Got a box of waffles. It's March break and it's an easy breakfast, lunch, or supper, really. <laughs> um, two things of bruschetta, a thing of grapes, two things of old cheddar cheese, some hash browns I'm going to cook up tonight. And I've seen these they're for St. Patrick's Day. I thought I'll just have those for after if anybody wants them. Like they're cookies with... Some have white fr frosting with green sprinkles, and some has green frosting with white sprinkles. So that's all I got. Not a big haul, but it's something. And yes, so the kitchen isn't too bad. That's the bacon frying pans, and Mally made a can of soup. What? They're stepping on your snack. Silly boy. So I'm going to get this stuff put away, and I'm going to start... Um, cutting up this baguette bread so it'll be ready to go when I want to use it. Like a bird on a tree. All right guys, well it's 2:21. I just dropped that bag of McCain's hash browns in the pan with some bacon fat that my husband just fried up and I cut up a big onion cut it up small and that's all I'm going to put in this I mean I'll, I'll season it with a bit of salt and pepper but then after I'm going to after it's all cooked I'll put the pan on low and just put a layer of cheese on it and that's all that we're going to put in this and we'll have bacon and we'll have bruschetta and that sounds like a weird combination, but that's what we're doing. And I know my family really likes this. And I'm going to have those grapes. I'm going to rinse them and have them on the table. And those cookies. So, yeah. It's a smorgasbord of food, along with whatever other people bring. So, I'm just going to sizzle this. I'm going to get the pepper. Don't want to knock you guys. Uh, oh, there's none of that. Something me in this. Sorry, the cupboard was right where you guys are standing. We're going to reserve that fat and I'll put it in the fridge. We cook a lot with bacon fat. I'm not going to have any of these hash brands tonight, but I'll have some of the bacon. I might do up a couple of eggs, but we'll see. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because I don't want it screaming on high and, and burn the hash brands before they even cook all the way through. Yeah, I, the meeting usually starts around like 
6 o'clock or something. I'm just getting this stuff ready now. And I will heat it up in the oven or keep it warm in the oven. I'm not worried about it. But this way I can have everything all cooked and then cleaned up the mess that it makes. Have the dishes washed. Like the pans washed and everything. Um, we can get the table set up. Get the tablecloth on and all the bells and whistles and stuff. So I'll bring you back when this is almost done and we add the cheese to it. i got to grate the cheese up though. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do while this is doing its thing in the, day, in the pan. the table set up um, the hash browns are done I didn't put the cheese on it I think I'm gonna leave it right in the pan put a cover on it and then when it's time almost time to eat I'll put the cheese on it and warm it up and let it melt that way I cut up the rest of that baguette bread I had to charge my battery a little bit right there I still need to rinse these grapes Ebby's just bumbling around but I want to try to jump in the shower I'm looking at the wrong end of my phone I want to try to jump in the shower um, just to get out of these grubby clothes because I've been busy. I already got my daily steps around lunchtime today, which is crazy, but a lot of that arm movement. I know these steppers, Fitbits, and mine's a Garmin. They're good and they keep you motivated, but I know it's not really counting my steps because there's no way I walk that many steps, but all the movements with my arms and stuff, they'll count as steps, but I'm taking it. It's movement, right? It's exercise a little bit. Little. So anyways, my day's done work, but she had to go right to an appointment, then she'll be back. But I'm going to see if I can have a quick little shower, get some fresh clothes on, and uh, yeah, I'll grab a couple more chairs for that table, but I don't need to do that right now. Oh, you want some attention? Did you bump your noggin? Oh, you're going to get a goose egg. Anyways, I'll be back in a little while. Oh, wrong way. Uh, all right, well, it's quarter to four. I keep looking at the wrong side of the phone, so it looks like I'm not looking at you. Anyways, I had a shower. I straightened my hair. I just put some of that Jergens Glow. You see how my face glows a little bit? I'm not having a baby. I'm not glowing that way. But anyways, I'm going to give myself a half hour just to sit down and relax. I'm going to have a can of grapefruit carbonated water, and then I'll kick it into high gear. Those hash brands are shut off. Still need to do those grapes, but that's not a big deal. And I'll start working with that bruschetta probably around 5 o'clock-ish, something like that. Because they don't take very long in the oven. And just wipe off the table on the counters again and um, be ready for people to get here. So I'll be back. The oven preheating at 425 and they go in until the bottom's toasted probably about 10 minutes or so all right friends well it's 5:30. i just turned these on a few minutes ago just to heat them up 
Now I'm going to drop some cheese on top and shut it way down to low and put a cover on it just so the cheese melts because these hash browns were all cooked and stuff. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm one hand in it. Let me get the cheese on and I'll show you. There, I didn't overload it, but it's all covered. Turned it way down to low. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to put the cover on it and leave it. That bruschetta's, oh, sugar in the oven. Yeah, <laughs> I said sugar. Um, bruschetta's in there um, for, well, another four minutes, and I'll check it and see what it's like. All right, I just took the bruschetta out. It was in there about 20 minutes. Um, just lightly toasted. Cheese is melted. I'm going to leave them out to cool down a bit, and yeah, it should be good. Look good. Shut the oven off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I know it feels really good. I wish my whole floor was like that. My mom has one at her house, but it's not as spongy, but she has it right in front of her sink to do Yeah, this one, I usually have it here, but it slides. So I brought up some bottles of wine from the basement. Ready for the party. Well, just about everybody's here, but I gotta stop because somebody needs another new bomb. Don't you, bub? Oh, your sock. Yeah, we run on his schedule, not the other way around. Bacon, salads, tomatoes, hash browns, grapes. This is a chicken salad on top of apple with a tomato on top, and some bruschetta. So there we go. On your mark, get set. Go. Okay, everybody is out there getting their food. I'm going to have one little sniff of white wine. This is wine that I made. I've had down in the basement for a long time, but it's it's quite tasty. I'm just having one because last time I had wine, and it was only one or two glasses or something. I had a pretty bad headache the next day, but that was red wine. Maybe I really like red wine, but maybe uh, the white will be a little different. We'll see. Oh, here's Mally's plate. You're going to be able to handle that, Mally? Yeah, right. So I'm having a couple slices of bacon, two little chicken wings, a little bit of grapes, and one of those apple chicken salad tomato things, which really isn't keto, but it's a special occasion. Yeah. Maze is late to the game. He was upstairs sleeping, so he wants some food. There's lots of food for you, Maze. Let me get you a plate. It's 20 after 8. We're almost done the meeting. Almost, not quite. But Maze needs some grub. We'll use the Paw Patrol plate, okay? So what would you like? Would you like some bacon? Yeah. Thanks, darling. These, this chicken has bones in it, so you just need to be careful, okay? You just eat around the bone. Do you want some of that chicken that's over there? Or hash browns? Yeah, there's chicken right here, honey. Abby, get out of there. What happens to Betsy? Hey. Buster Baxter. No. Oh, my goodness gracious. You're just making a mess. Look at this. Look at this. I don't even use plastic forks. I've had those for I don't know how long, but he is just full of piss and vinegar tonight. Good thing you're cute is all I'm saying. Good thing you're cute. Ah, put this lock on one-handed. Trying to do this with my knee and my hand. Thanks, Malia. All right, Maze, are you still in here? He left. He went and took his plate. That's all he got was bacon and chicken tent and chicken wings. For goodness' sakes! All right, babies, you need to come out of the kitchen.
Come okay. on, kids. Okay, Mom. Okay. Come on, Evie. Come on. All right, it's 9.09. Everybody just left. I'll just show you the aftermath. It's not bad, just there was kids playing. Get going, Mish. <laughs> watch out, watch your toes. Ah, toys and kids and kids and toys. Um, and Mally. But everybody's gone. Oh, here's where we were having the meeting, but they were doing some arts and crafts all around our feet. Misha was reading some stories. Here's a little clip. And yeah, playing with the little kitchen, serving dinners to everybody. Oh, it was a good time. It was a successful meeting. So it's not going to be too hard to clean up. This is what's left over. Everybody took a little bit home. There's a little bit of chicken wings left. Lots of bacon, which is good because we'll use it up this weekend for sure. A couple of those apple things left. They, I, I enjoyed them. I did. Some tomatoes left. I think they left those on purpose because my kids love tomatoes. Um, the grapes are gone. The hash browns are just about gone. There's still quite a few bruschettas left, but we did have a lot. And that's it. That's all. I already have the dishwasher going now. It's almost done drying. I'll take those out and put them away and put the rest of this stuff um, in the dishwasher. But for now, yeah, it's 9-11. I've had two glasses of wine. That's it. So I'm hoping if I work through that... Get it through my system. I'll be okay tomorrow. Ah, oh, I'm a lightweight these days. So I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm not going to vacuum. Maybe I'll set my Roomba up to do it tonight while I go to bed. And these toys just go in the toy box. Not a big deal. So it's all good. Yeah, you go brush your teeth. So I'll be back and show you the workings. All right, friends, it's 10 o'clock. I wiped the stove and countertops and table off. The dishwasher's going with the other load of dishes. It wasn't quite full, but almost full, so I just started it anyways. Um, I didn't sweep the floor, but I picked up anything that I could see. It wasn't. It really wasn't too bad. I did vacuum out here, though. Um, I folded up the table. I didn't bring it downstairs. And the chairs just went out in the kitchen. And did all out here. Picked up the toys. Um... I was going to get my Roomba to do do it. I didn't use my big vacuum. I used my little hand vacuum and just vacuumed up little pieces that I seen. Stuff that you could see. That's what I vacuumed up. Um, so I'll do a proper vacuum tomorrow. But I'm just like, my Roomba's not charged. And I just can't go to bed when there's crumbs on the floor. It'll drive me crazy. But I just got off the phone with my teenager. He went out earlier tonight. His friend got his license. So, the, of course, that's nerve-wracking. I know his friend. I've known him since he was little. But still, just when kids first get their license, it's the same with Marquis. He'll be getting his license next week. It's going to be nerve-wracking. But they just went for a little drive and went to a friend's house to a party. And now he needs a pickup. So, <laughs> I said, I can't come get you. I don't have the van. And uh, Dad's gone to the gym, so he should be back soon. And then I'll spin out and get him. I didn't even look in the bathroom. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, it's not too bad. Hold on. One of the kids left their toothbrush out when they went to bed. They've all gone up to bed now. Um, yeah, not too bad. But this is all I'm doing tonight. I'm hoping I can get this video up tonight. I don't know if I can. If not, I'll put a community post up just to say we've had a busy day. But let me turn you around just a second. Oh, I can feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, come on, look up at the sun and we'll make it come out. Anyway, see yeah, how I won't go out there, the dishwasher's blasting. But yeah, I'm waiting for my husband to get home and then i got to spin out. Um, I did have two glasses of wine, but it's throughout the whole evening. I'm fine now, I really am. 
Um, it's just the only thing that I think that gave me a headache was the sugar that's in wine because I don't eat, don't have sugar anymore, right? So my body's not used to it. So I'm hoping if I stay kind of active and alert for a while, which I really could conk out, but whatever, um, I wouldn't get a headache. So fingers crossed, guys. But I'd go up and try to do this video, but my husband should be back any time. And by the time I get home, it'll be after 11. And this is a long video, I think. I think. I don't know. I've done quite a bit today. I just don't know how long I've filmed. Um, so I'll probably put it up early tomorrow, like before lunchtime, hopefully. So, yeah. I think that's what I, I just need to... Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do because I don't want to be up till 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning, trying to get this video going. I love you guys, but I think you guys understand. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the morning and then we'll finally sign off and I'll let you know. But at least my house is all straightened up for the most part. I will do a proper vacuum tomorrow and a proper sweep tomorrow. But it was such a great time to get together and uh, just the positivity that comes around it and the food. Uh, yeah, I had some stuff that wasn't keto tonight, but not a whole great big bunch. So it's all good. I don't feel bad about it or anything. That's what maintenance is about. Still living, you know, I'm not depriving myself. If I want it, I'm going to have it. And that's what I did. So anyways, I'll be back. Well, it's morning time, guys. It is 10 after 9, believe it or not. I really just got up. Everybody else is still sleeping. I have a fuzzy mouth. I gotta brush my teeth. I know that sounds gross. <laughs> God. I just wanted to start my coffee brewing. Oh, um, I had a good sleep though. I feel good. I feel fine. And I needed that time to sleep, I guess. So um, I'll get that going and go upstairs and have my coffee while I edit this video and get it up early in the day. Um, it rained a lot yesterday evening and let's just see here can you see up there most of the snow is all gone yeah so I'm at the point now I wish it either all go or just have a big snowstorm I don't like the middle stuff because it's so muddy and messy but I mean that's spring for you right so anyways I'm going to brush my teeth while my coffee's brewing and then we'll go up. I'll go up and get this video up. So I'll end it for now. I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. Everyone. Everyone deserves to be happy. So, okay. So I'll probably film a bit today too, but it's going to be today's video um so i'll post that tonight hopefully so with that i'll say have a good night or have a good morning and i'll see you tomorrow bye boink